Hi, and welcome to episode 7 of the Cart Podcast with me, Sim, where I talk about how awesome Korean dramas are and why you should watch them. I hope you're all having a good week. As the weather's getting nicer, I'm also adventuring outside as well. I went for a nice bike ride this morning, which was great. So let's get straight into this episode. So the drama I'm going to talk about today is under the genre of a thriller, and it is known as Defendant, or in Korean, Pigolin. The drama aired at the start of 2017, and it's one of those dramas where you watch it for the first time and there's just loads of plot twists and you don't know what's going to happen. I would watch this again, but I feel like it's a bit too sad for me, and too sad for my heart to handle, so I wouldn't watch it again. But it is a really, really good drama. This drama consists of 18 episodes. So moving on to the cast and crew, there are two writers for this drama. There's Choi Soojin, who also wrote City Hunter and Heart Surgeons, and also Choi chang Kwan, who also wrote Heart Surgeons as well. I couldn't find much inf- information on these two as well, and I thought they may be cousins or siblings, but I don't think they are because they don't have the same last name and the beginning of their first name either. This drama is directed by Jo Young. Kwang, and he also directed Heart Surgeons as well, and also the drama Hi Jekyll and Me. It's directed by Jung Dong Yoon as well, again Heart Surgeons, and he also directed Suspicious Partner, Exit and Stove League. The actors in this drama consists of Ji Sung who plays Park Jung Woo, and he's basically a prosecutor for the Seoul Central District Office. He is really good at his job and he is known to never lose a case. And Ji Sung also comes in a lot of other dramas as well, such as Protect the Boss, Kill Me, Heal Me, I absolutely love that drama, Entertainer, also a good drama, and also Dr. John, a really good drama as well. There's also Um Ki Jun, who plays two roles as the identical twins Cha Sun Ho and Cha Min Ho, where Cha Min Ho is treated worse by his father than Cha Sun Ho. Um Ki Jun is also well known is also a well-known actor as well, and has appeared in many hits such as Dream High, I Can Hear Your Voice, Missing Nine, I'm Not a Robot, Heart Surgeons, and recently in the drama Penthouse. There's also Kwon Yuri, who plays So Un Hai, who is another defence lawyer, but has never had a winning case. She is also a member of Girls' Generation, if you are an OG K-pop stunner, and also appears in other dramas such as Goff, Starry Night, and Local Hero. There's also Oh Jang Sok, who who is portrayed by who portrays sorry Kang Jun Hyuk, and this is Jung Woo's best friend from the Seoul Central District Office as well, and he ends up working against Jung Woo, and also basically putting him in prison as well. Oh Jang Sok appears in dramas such as Athena Goddess of War. This drama is on my list of dramas to watch, but I haven't really got round to watching it yet. And finally, we have Om Hyung Kyung, who plays Na Yeon Hee, and she is the wife of the twin Sun Ho, but um, was initially the other twin, Min Ho's lover, and was forced to marry Sun Ho instead. There are a number of actors that appear in the background and around the main actors, which appear in a lot of other dramas as well, which is nice to see. So moving on to the plot, well, where to start with this drama? It starts off with a giant mystery where steps are retraced. We have our main lead, jung the prosecutor, showing how he has a very loving family, he has a wife and a daughter, and he's doing his job really well. But he suddenly wakes up on death row in prison and has been accused and found guilty of murdering his family. However, he has lost his memory so he can't recall his actions. And so this makes us wonder why and how he came to murder his family as well. He wakes up every day thinking the same thing. He's very confused that he's in prison and he literally only has um, one memory stuck on loop. And so this memory is stuck on the last time he saw his family in a happy setting. So it was a birthday. And um, later on, we are introduced to the two twins where we see Cha Min Ho, who is rather villainous compared to his chin, chin, <laughs> compared to his twin. Um, I've written the wrong the wrong words down on the script. Um, so we have Cha Min Ho, who is rather vil- villainous compared to the brother, 
Cha Sun Ho. That's right. Um, and so Jung Woo ends up taking a case which involves the evil Cha Min Ho. And even though he's trying to, he's on this case, there's a lot of things that are not right with the way the case is going on. And he knows something is up. So he's trying to find and search the truth to this. But because of this, he gets targeted by the twin, which prevents him from continuing the case to the end. And he ends up in prison. And at the same time, his family sort of comes under fire as well and under, like gets targeted as well. There is so much injustice in this, which leads him into prison. And then finally, we see Sir On Hai, who takes on his case, Jungle's case, and proves his innocence along with um, Jungle's close inmates that he befriends as well. So as the story goes on, um, the, he sometimes gets abuse from other inmates that cannot believe he made such a heinous crime, but he knows himself he get, he become, he's innocent as his memory slowly starts to return to him and he befriends his cellmates. He tries to outsmart those that, are, that put him into prison in the first place and in the ending there is a happier ending to the whole story which is a sigh of relief because throughout the drama the injustice was just breaking my heart and I, I just found I just felt it so unfair throughout the whole drama which was really really frustrating me. So moving on to memorable moments. It's hard to say a lot of memorable moments for this drama as well because it will give away a lot of the story but there are two from the beginning which I think um, are really nice. We firstly have Ch- Chamino, so that's the evil twin. His general behaviour at the start is really scary and quite unbelievable and shocking and you can just tell that the story he has created for himself just snowballs and is going to get worse. Um, even though he has a lot of money and power, there's only so much you can you can go there's um there's only so there's only so far I don't know, how do you say it there's only you can only go so far um for things to just collapse and then when Jungu as well first wakes up in prison it is a big shock and it entices the audience to figure out how exactly he got there which is really nice the drama isn't set out in a chronological order but more as in retracing the steps back at the beginning which is which is nice there are loads of really good parts to watch, which makes it an even better must-watch. So for those thriller lovers out there, this is a, this is a good drama. This is one of my favourite sort of crime thriller dramas. And the themes and meaningful points in this. Firstly, we have Justice Will Prevail. The story is literally full of so much injust- injustice, which is really angering. Um, but in the end, we see that jung pushes through. He outsmarts people who are trying to go against him. And in the end, he survives this really big ordeal as well, which is really nice to hear and quite um, relaxing and settling for my heart because throughout the drama, it was just annoying me so much about how, how much and how much jungle was just being thrown in the dirt. And then secondly, we have friendship. And I don't know if this is just me, but the friendship in Korean dramas is just so wholesome. And sometimes I really do envy it. Like... I really want to chill with friends on like a rooftop setting and um, just have a barbecue. I feel like that scene is just so nice and I really, really want to do that with my friends as well. But unfortunately, where I live, there aren't many really nice rooftop settings. Um, But yeah, um, Jungwoo makes a, a bunch of friends in prison, so his group of inmates, and they all help him prove his innocence. And it's really nice as well because Jungle helps return the favour to them as well. And the fact that he made all these friends in prison as well sort of counteracts um, Kang jun Hook, And he's the one who was his friend initially working at the Seoul District office as well. But obviously he betrayed Jungle, And Jungle really thought he was a friend as well, which is really sad. But in the end, Jungle made more friends and came back even stronger and defeated those who went against, against him. So moving on to the OST. The OST for this is actually quite small and consists of only four parts. It has artists such as Son dong from Highlight, um, formerly known as Beast. There's Sani, Surin. Surin always has a great voice. I love listening to her voice. And there's Rowan. Um, I don't listen to this OST that much because the songs aren't as catchy and I don't really like have it anywhere but they are it is it is a 
there is since there's only four songs they are all pretty good and if you like these artists that, that makes it even better and finally we have our quote so this is when Jungu is talking to his daughter and I'm not going to mention where exactly this comes in because it might sto- might spoil the storyline but it goes like this and also my Korean is not perfect so you know don't bash me on that but you know I'm practicing and this is just speaking practice so it goes like this Hayona, appa ga hetton mal kiyokna Hayon, do you remember what I said I say sangeun cheolte uriril boriji anel korigu that the world will never abandon us korigu yongi neragu and to be courageous uri hay sorry uri hayoni ga sara ga se sangeun the world that our hayon lives in to aramdapku hembok harsu idorok Apaga nuryok heso mandara jolke. I'm going to work hard and make it more beautiful and happy for you, which is very very sweet. And um, Jungu, I feel so sorry for him throughout the whole drama, and I'm just glad that it was a great ending in the end. So thank you for watching. Sorry, thank you for listening to this podcast. I really hope you um, enjoy watching this drama if you haven't. And if you have, well, give it a rewatch because it is pretty amazing. I will will be back with another episode next week, so be sure to follow us on Instagram, where you can see more posts and things that I am watching currently. You can listen to the po- this podcast on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. And if you like this podcast, please give a five star review on Apple Podcasts, and only five stars because that will help me out a lot. Anyway, see you guys. Bye.